This is the Startup FIU Entrepreneurs version 1 user guide. Version 1 of this project was made by the team Startup FIU Entrepreneurs. The product owner is Robert Hacker and the project mentor is Dr. Masood Sajadi. There are three different actors in our system. In order to accomplish what our product owner needed, we created the three user types, the visitor to Startup FIU, the entrepreneur, and the PI co-PI. Our first actor is a visitor to Startup FIU. One of our major goals for this particular user type was to recreate the Startup FIU homepage independent of a WordPress theme. Since our entire framework had to be pushed going forward, we didn't want users to need to worry later about trying to integrate our entrepreneur portal with the current functionality. Thus, we tried to keep the content relatively similar while making small modifications and improvements. On the left-hand side, you can see the prior F Startup FIU page, and on the right-hand side, you can view the new remodeled page, which has just a slightly larger box and a little gear icon, just to add a little extra color. Further down on the homepage, you can see the following content. On the left-hand side, again, is the prior homepage, and on the right-hand side is the new homepage. Here, only a minor modification was made, in which, in the middle div, the Empower box was created to have a gray box behind the text just to make the styling consistent with the other elements on the section. For the next section, information was given about the Startup FIU programs. On the left-hand side, you can see that the icons are slightly darker and Learn More appears as a hyperlink rather than a clear button. So when this was restyled, the colors were kept consistent with those on the page and different icons were used independent of the theme. In addition, Learn More was made into actual buttons rather than using hyperlinks just to make the visibility a bit greater. Finally, the last change made in styling the new page as compared to the prior home page is that for all of the social media icons added, little bubbles were added behind them to keep the consistent styling with the icons higher up on the page and to improve the visibility. Another page is the About You page that offer, offers an overview of the resources available and links of interest for the different types of the actors of Startup FIU, such as the researcher, the in inventor, the innovator, and the entrepreneur. This content is personalized for each of these actors. And they offer different links for different um, pages of interest, all hosted within this page. There are three programs pages that can be accessed through the drop-down menu, whether a user is logged into the website or not. These three pages will allow a Startup FIU visitor to read about the three different programs that Startup FIU offers. There is Startup FIU Food, Startup FIU Empower Accelerator, and Startup FIU Proof of Concept Studio. Note that this website is completely responsive, adapting to the optimal view depending on the screen size. The Entrepreneur Dashboard is the main page for the entrepreneurs. In order to use it, you first need to log in as an entrepreneur. So click Login, and once you log in as an entrepreneur, you can see the dashboard here. If I go to a page, say, Accelerators, I can go back to the dashboard by clicking on the Dashboard button. The dashboard has five pages that are useful for the entrepreneur. The first one is Curriculum. Second one is Advisors. Third one is Accelerators. 
The fourth one is events. And the last one is Slack, which will direct you to the Startup FIU Slack page. For the events page, the requirements were as follows. Create an events page with events stored in the database. Create event listings which are not in a calendar format, but that include the date, time, event photo, description, location, and registration link. Separate out the upcoming events and the past events. Allow users to search for events and enable users to store events to their personal Google calendars. And now I'll demonstrate how the events works. Once an entrepreneur has logged in, the events can be accessed from the Entrepreneur Dashboard by selecting Startup FIU Events. Then the events page loads, which separates out events into upcoming events and past events. It's easy to switch between the upcoming events and past events simply by selecting here. And as you can see, there's a lot more events that have passed than are upcoming. And each event card does not look like a calendar as requested by the product owner, but instead includes information about the title of the event, the date, and the time. For more information about an event, a user can select more details. To get a brief description of the event, and to access a link to the event for registration purposes, as well as the location of the event. Once they are on the main listing, they can also click on the calendar icon to load a Google Calendar pre-populated with the information for the event, which they can then save to their personal calendar. In addition, events can be searched for by name. For example, searching for HALT pulls up events which have HALT in the name of the event. However, searching for a string like frog, which does not exist in any of the event headings, will pull up no events. The Accelerators page offers the entrepreneur type user access to a selection of accelerators, which are cohort-based programs, which offers resources, which include seed investment, connections, mentorship, educational components, and etc. If you have the user type entrepreneur, upon successfully logging in, you will see the dashboard button become available in the nav bar. To access the accelerators, you'll need to navigate to the dashboard by clicking on the dashboard link in the nav bar. Here, you'll see the accelerators button. You can click the accelerators button to access the list of open accelerators. Here, the user will be presented a list of open accelerators with the accelerator's name, a brief message about the accelerator, and the application due date. The user can then select details for additional information regarding that accelerator. In addition to more information about the accelerator, the user will gain access to two links, one link that will direct them to the accelerator's website and another link that the user can use to apply to the accelerator. In addition, the user can choose to add a reminder to their Google Calendar about a specific accelerator application due date by clicking on the calendar icon next to the application. Here you'll see a Google Calendar event auto-populate with the name of the application and a reminder one day prior to the application due date. In addition to being able to add accelerator reminders to your Google Calendar, you can also add accelerators to your list of favorites by clicking on the star next to the accelerator in which you'd like to add to your list. Upon clicking on the star, you'll see the accelerator populate in your favorites list. Here you can click on any of the accelerators and a pop-up will be accessed with the additional information that's also found in the details, along with the links to the accelerator's website and the link to apply to the accelerator. You can choose to remove the accelerator and if you do so, you'll be prompted to confirm your deletion. And once you confirm your deletion, that accelerator will be no longer in your favorites list. Next, to help users find accelerators more quickly, you can choose 
to sort the accelerators in ascending or descending order by either deadline or name. In addition, you can search for specific accelerators using the search bar. Lastly, you can choose to show accelerators that have previously passed. This way, if the accelerator falls on the same date next year as it did the previous year, you'd be able to keep an eye out for that accelerator. The Advisors page offers the entrepreneur user access over a collection of advisors available for them. These people will be able to advise them in different topics, for example, legal, software engineering, or marketing, deployment, etc. When the entrepreneur is logged in, it's being re redirected to the dashboard where you can see the advisors link. If you click on it, you will be shown the list of available advisors for the entrepreneur. As you can see, this is just user access in which the entrepreneur can toggle the details of each advisor and see a description, the phone number, the email, and it's able to directly send an email or call by Skype this number. We are also shown the name and the ex uh, expertise of the advisor. The user can also sort these advisors by name in ascending or descending order and by expertise by ascending or descending order. The entrepreneur can also search for different fields, for example, for example by name, Tom Hanks, or by expertise, technical or software engineering. If you just type SO, it will search by expertise, software engineering, and also by name, Nicole Song. It searches by all of the fields, but because all of the advisors have the same description and number, if you search by description, all of them will appear. But if you put something that's not there, they will all disappear. This search is by all of the fields available except for the image. This page is completely responsive, adapting to the screen size of the device. You can view the complete Proof of Concept Studio curriculum via your entrepreneur login. The first page you will see is your flight manuals. The rest of the tabs contain your weekly session slides, your resources, your perks and benefits, and your announcements. This is how you use this page on a mobile device and a desktop site. Another actor will be the PI and co-PI. So the PI and co-PI will be able to add an advisor, they can edit the advisor's information, and they can also remove an advisor's from the advisor's page. They will also be able to edit the curriculum page. The advisor's page offers the administrator an administrative view of the list of, advis of advisors available for the entrepreneurs. Once the administrator is logged in, the dashboard button will appear. So if it clicks there and then goes to advisors, you can see all of the advisors, but this time, not only the toggle details bottom will appear, but the advisor will have the, the administrator will have the option to remove an advisor, edit an advisor, and then add an advisor. Let's try these three. First, we will create an advisor. The create advisor model appears. And note that this validates all of the fields being the name and the expertise mandatory. So we will fill in the fields. And note that the email needs to be in the valid format. We can upload a picture that will appear here pre-visualized 
We can also add a description. Once we click Submit, that if there's no errors, the advisor will be successfully created in the database and inserted, and this list will already be refreshed in here. We can edit this advisor, changing the fields that we want. And if this was successful, then the advisor will be edited. Note that these fields are also validated. So if we don't have a name, for example, this will be a problem. But well, we don't want to edit this one, so we just click close and it there is not edited in the database. We can also remove advisors if we want. And the list will be automatically refreshed once we have deleted the advisors. Note that the administrator also have also has all of the options available for the entrepreneur, such as search by any field, like name or expertise, or both, SO, expertise, and name. And you also search for all of the other fields except for the image. You can also sort by name in ascending or descending order and by expertise in ascending or descending order. I'm logged in here as a PI CoPI user, and I'm just gonna click on a random week and we're gonna edit the data inside. So let's go week three, and let's change some of the text in here. So let's click on the edit icon and change size the market to size up your competition edited by me and let's click submit success so let's take a look week three and there it is size up your competition we could have edited anything that you see here but i just chose to do some simple text iframe codes work as well and if you go into session slides, you can modify all of those through the exact same way. Thank you very much for watching this video. The team was Startup FIU Entrepreneurs, and the product owner was Robert Hacker. If you have any questions regarding this video, please don't hesitate to ask any of the following team members, Kirsten, Daniel, Stephanie, Emmanuel, Kevin, or Eric. You have the emails right there. If you have questions regarding this project, please email Dr. Masood Sajadi at the email that appears right there. Thank you very much.